This is part one of our three-part series. In this video, we're gonna be following the trail class as they compete in the Island Cup 2022. The Island Cup is an extreme off-roading competition that's been happening here on Vancouver Island since 2006. Presented and hosted by West Shore Spring and 4x4, for the first time ever, this event is being held at Western Speedway. Everything from budget-built Samurais and Toyotas on leaf springs and four-cylinder turbo motors to $200,000 buggy builds with rear steer and coilovers and crazy modifications. This is some of the most extreme offering that I have ever seen, so buckle up because this is going to be a wild ride. We made it to Island Cup. This is the first night. Everything's kind of chill. Everyone's getting set up. We're going to go check out some of these rigs, show you guys the real Island Spec rigs. This is going to be the start of an epic weekend, so stay tuned. There are three different classes of vehicles and competitors will have six different runs, six different obstacle courses to navigate to get the fastest time possible to place on the podium. Hey bud. I thought you finished, dude. Yeah, all done. <laughs> all done. I just wanted to get greasy, but I ain't. <laughs> Welcome to Island Cup 2022. This is the Teeter Totter. You gotta line your wheels up perfectly on these logs and tip your way over to the other side. This is just one of the crazy obstacles that we've got going on that guys are gonna have to drive over. <laughs> this is the start or finish of one of many different lines for three different classes of trucks. We'll give you the breakdown on how this event is gonna work. There are three different classes of trucks. There's trail class, there's drag axle, and there's rear steer. Rear steer is kind of like the unlimited class. These buggies can turn on all four wheels. They've got unlimited horsepower numbers. These is like the, the big money buggies. Drag axle is only steering in the front and sticky tires. Have to have sticky tires. There's one guy that doesn't have sticky tires because he was bumped up. This is a really good driver. And then there's trail class, which is what Colby's gonna be competing in, which is basically non-sticky tires. You have to have a cage, have to have a harness, and you know, you've gotta have minimum 35 inch tire up to a 42. So the classes are pretty wide open and that's what's gonna make it interesting because we got guys on 37 inch tires and Toyota axles competing against guys on Dana 60s with 42s. So it's gonna be wild to see what people can pull out of their tricks. Bag of tricks. Imagine driving over this. There are huge crevices. You might end up down in here. You gotta go right over the top in between those two logs. And this is coming down the other side. The way the actual uh, trail and line choosing is gonna work is Corey, who is putting on this event, he's the main sponsor, he's the owner of West Shore Spring 4x4. He's gonna be directing competitors on what line to take based on their class. Imagine coming down that. So this is another one of the rock crawling sections. You've got to navigate your way through a bunch of concrete, rocks, and logs, and then make your way either up or down the bus on either side. But on the other side, there's probably one of the craziest off-roading obstacles that I've ever seen. This right here is the rail jam, the rail slide. This is absolutely crazy. You've got to drive over the top here. Your spotter's going to line you up, and you've got a 50-50 grind on your axles down this rail slide. If that's not pure extreme insanity, then I don't know what is. That's gonna be super cool to watch. Competitors will get a total of six runs over the weekend. Uh, three on Saturday, three on Sunday to complete their line in under seven minutes, fastest time possible, fastest time wins. So this obstacle is gonna be really interesting because it's so steep, you're not gonna be able to crawl it. You're actually gonna to have to launch over this thing to have any hope of success getting over the other side. That's the course breakdown of Island Cup 2022. We've got a volunteer meeting coming up and then we're gonna get right into the action. Only competitors driving on the designated course during their runs will be allowed. No pets allowed on the property for safety reasons. <laughs>
How are you feeling, Kobe? Not too bad. A little nervous. <laughs> All right, we got Colby up hitting the teeter-totter course one, day number one. It rained heavily last night and these logs are super slippery. So I do not envy him being one of the first trucks up on this obstacle. Spencer Hughes, Rooster Class. The next competitor up in his section of the course. He ended up pushing the logs too far out at the bottom, so had to take a DNF, does not finish on this one, but there's lots more obstacles and lots more wheeling to come. It's a good thing for those blast mats, otherwise that would have been a hard roll on concrete. But he was all good and got the truck flipped over and carried on. As a first time competitor, the rest of the challenges of adapting the rock crawl on the station is as well. Big stoke and cheers for Luke as he was the first truck up to make it on the teeter-totter. This is a badass old Jeep and was actually competing in the very first Island Cup back in 2006. Oh. Tough break on the first obstacle though. And another one bites the dust. The teeter-totter was producing some carnage on Saturday morning. send on that attempt they didn't say you had to have all four wheels or which side you go down on so that was a sweet finish for Jackson
Next up was the first rock garden section for the trail class. You get that? For anyone that doesn't know, sticky tires are a non-DOT approved, not street legal tire compound that are extra soft and have amazing capabilities of gripping different types of terrain. So these guys in the trail class have non-sticky tires and they have a much more difficult time grabbing these rocks, grabbing the concrete and different obstacles. Nice drive, Colby. I think that was one of the faster times for this second course.
to get into the action again and today someone's going to be crowned the winner of the island cup 2022 in each class this first course for the trail class on day number two was going to prove to be the hardest course that they would attempt during the weekend
even though the camera never does it justice, you can tell that these are massive boulders and it was proving difficult for some of the trail class vehicles to even get all four wheels onto the boulder section. seemed like the shorter wheelbase vehicles had a slight advantage on this course. Thank you. 
It almost uh, acted as more of a hindrance. Well, Colby got a chance to redeem himself on the last course of the weekend for the trail class, hitting up the teeter totter. Let's see how he does. It looks like he's uh, doing the uh, right front tire right there, so uh, there's no air in there. It's not going to make that So again, the guys at True Line Contracting helping to create the course over the course of the uh, week leading up to Island Cup 2022. Also out here with their excavator and uh, helping to maintain the course. A big thanks to them for uh, helping out with that and coming up with the Island Cup course as well as West Shore Spring 4x4 for uh, hosting the event as they have since I believe 2014 is when uh, Corey kind of took over for Island Cup is uh, Colby Adrian uh, getting lined up at the moment on the teeter-totter. I definitely have to give a shout out to Mike from True Line Contracting. He's been here all week with his machine setting up this uh, amazing course for us. If, if it wasn't for guys like that, these events would never happen. So, you know, when you see him, you know, give him a shout out and a round of applause and thank him for uh, being here and moving these vehicles on fast. Down with, uh, the there goes Cody Adrian up well guys, there you have it, your top three finishers for the trail class of Island Cup 2022. You got Stephen Bartlett taking on third place. Matt Sladich coming in second. And Luke Mainwaring taking home the win. All right, we'll drive safe. Yeah, uh, man. Your rear drive step might be a little wobbly. It is. Yeah. It is. Well, guys, this is the only rig out of the entire Island Cup that drove here and is driving home. That's a win in my book. <laughs>